Good morning, everybody. And I really want to thank everybody for coming out today for yet another opening for a store here in East Brunswick. I think we've mentioned uh, a while back now that even through the pandemic, which I'm thankful that we could say is pretty much in the rearview mirror. Come on, let's a uh, big round of applause for that. That businesses have continued to move to East Brunswick, even in the worst of times. We've had an average of about 100 businesses per year for the last four years, and it didn't change uh, with the pandemic. So I think that it just goes to show about the resiliency and the, uh, um, the ability of East Brunswick to attract businesses here to our corridor. And they're all different types of businesses, service industry. We've got a medical corridor out here. We've got people moving in, in with restaurants and, and just such a wide variety of businesses. It really speaks to why people move here and why businesses move here. And I'm really thrilled for Brittany that we could be doing yet another <laughs> opening for a, uh, a business, uh, your business, and that it was able to thrive even through the worst of times. That just shows your resiliency and the resiliency of this community and their support for you. So a big round of applause for Brittany. Thank you. I look back at my days when I was on the school board and I remember, as Dana does as well, that we would go back to back to school nights and the one thing that we would always be thrilled at probably a little bit angry, but that we would always start out the meeting saying, you know, it was so damn difficult to find a parking spot, but thank you. <laughs> Uh, it shows you that people really value education and that's why it was so difficult to find a parking spot. That's a good thing. But look around you and that parking lot is full. And that speaks to businesses being back here in, in East Brunswick and it speaks to the ability for you to attract people to your business. So I am thrilled that you're back here uh, in this corridor. Uh, what I'd like, if, uh, if you can, is to uh, explain to folks here and for those that are going to be on the YouTube the, uh, that's going to be distributed to town, where the business is located, what it is exactly that you're uh, trying to do here, your hours, and uh, maybe something that makes uh, elite elite. Okay, sure thing. Hi, everybody. So my name is Brittany Fadoon. I am, thank you. <laughs> I am the owner of Elite Fitness Alliance. We are located at 3 Lexington Avenue in East Brunswick. So if you know Cranberry Road, we're right close to the post office. Um, we do small group training and personal training. So we usually take about five to 10 people in a session at once um, or you know, personal training one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, we, we are different uh, from your normal gym because we are really focused on the individual. We work individually with everybody. So if you're coming in here, you need help, you came off an injury, um, some issues, surgery, you know, range of motion issues, we definitely will work with you. Uh, we incorporate all of that into all of our workouts. Um, our trainers, which a lot of them are here today, um, they really care, they're very good, they have a lot of experience. Um, so you, you, can, you can trust them, I trust them fully. Um, in terms of training times, uh, we usually are by appointment only, but we do start our group training sessions at 5.30 in the morning. Yay. Yes. So for all of you go-getters, 5.30 a.m. before work, uh, we have more sessions throughout the morning and at, in the afternoon at night starting around 5.30 as well. Thank you. I want to wish you very best. I, I, like uh, the mayor said, you know, you're a very strong, gritty person, and the resilience that you had throughout this whole pandemic to stay strong and you know keep this going so it it shows a lot about you also and the thing is that we all do need to get healthy and fit and it takes time and i think uh, you put in the time for us that's good <laughs> thank, thank you. you thank you sir um so uh, congratulations again and uh, you know i want to reiterate exactly what they were saying also that you really put the dedication in and you kept this going for the last two years but but not just that you, you know, your work with the chamber just exemplifies what you do for this community here. So, you know, we wish you well, and I know you're expecting a really good pun. So we know with your dedication, this is going to work out. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rob. No, I can't follow that. Congratulations. Thank you for your willingness to be part of our East Brunswick community. That is so important, and we are wishing you the best success. As you can tell, she bleeds orange from head to toe. <laughs> we wish you 
only the best, only success. Success for you is success for East Brunswick. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, and Joe. Sure. Um, yeah, definitely our business community loves you. And uh, the thing is, um, uh, one thing I, I want to say is that uh, she loves helping people. So that uh, uh, it's, it's going to be a place that you want to be working out. She will definitely make sure end result will be good for you. So uh, please come in and help her out and she will help you out. Thank you. Thank you. So we uh, ready to do the honors? Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! <laughs>